People across the state have already been voting for weeks now, and with that, there is an issue Nebraskans have a chance to weigh in on that right now has a big question mark hanging over it. That would be the pair of measures dealing with medical marijuana. The campaign behind those initiatives was in court today defending its placement on the ballot against allegations of signature fraud and misconduct. 1011's John Grinvalds was in the room where it happened and has more on that story. In a courtroom packed full of lawyers, serious allegations made against the Nebraskans for medical marijuana petition drives. Your Honor, cheating is a choice. The evidence in this case will show that the ballot sponsors and a material, a significant number of petition circulators and notaries associated with these campaigns made that choice here. Hours of witness testimony waded through the weeds of notary law and signature expertise in an effort to connect a web of fraud and misconduct. Happened, yeah, that would be a, a violation. But the lawyers defending the ballot sponsors boiled the case down to simple numbers. But even if you found that there were errors with every single one of the signatures that they are going to talk about, that is not enough to strike either initiative from the ballot. So what are they relying on? The only way they win this case, the only way Secretary Evan and the plaintiff prevail is by imputing notary errors from a few documents. The trial is expected to see many witnesses testify, including Michael Egbert, who's been accused of turning in fraudulent signatures of names he pulled from a phone book in Hall County. This trial is set to continue on Thursday and Friday, and if Judge Strong finds that the plaintiff's attorneys have shown that enough signatures are questionable, then the second phase of the trial would begin at a later date, likely after the election. Reporting in Lincoln, John Grinvalds, 1011 News.